from you. Back on another lesson, Lord, we're going to be edifying. I want to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Mahal Rakakwadash, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who taught me this truth, and Shalom to you, Akim, and Akwat that believe and have faith in Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, in these last days, man. And I just want to get this lesson, man. I had a couple of videos, that, you know, was, was um, I was just online, and I found these videos, man. And it goes back into to um, how we lived a couple years ago, you know what I'm saying, not too long ago. This video is from 1939, and I just got a couple of videos back in that era, when, you know what I'm saying, when the Jakes was coming out of slavery, man, kind of getting their independence, and um, the, the, um, the curses was pretty much let off for them a little bit, man, for us to have a little independence and, and be free, in other words. But, I mean, you never was free, but you know what I mean, the gist of it. Let's play a couple of these videos, and then we get some scriptures uh, to back it up. And, I, and it does got, let's see, yeah, I don't think it got no no music to it. But, yeah, man, just look how Jake was, man, happy, man. You know what I'm saying? We were a beautiful, we are beautiful people, man. You know what I'm saying? Just to just to see our people back then, man, kind of, you know what I'm saying, bring back uh, memories of you as being as a child or your grandparents, man. I remember seeing my grandparents' pictures and stuff, man. And, uh... I liked them for some odd reason, just some old pictures and black and white pictures and stuff, just looking at our people, man. And um, it just shows how happy we we, are, we were. I mean, not so much now, but just the nature of our people, man. Just happy people, man. Not having anything. Uh, it was pretty much, everybody was pretty much poor, man. And you can just see the happiness on our people's faces, man. The The beauty of our people, man. The humbleness of our people. You know what I'm saying? That's 1939. And let's get this one. Yeah, I mean, I know they'll entertain us, but just you just just tell us, see the joy in our people, man. I mean, we're blessed to be the best at everything we, we do, but just to see our people and how we was, just how we lived and how we dressed and how we, you know, reacted to different things, man. It just kind of makes, it brings a little joy on your face, man, just to see that our people was just the best at everything, man. <laughs> And you looking at the video, you can't tell me they don't bring a smile to your face, man. To see how people just dance and just man, it just, it just man, just it brings a smile to your face, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Our people.
people, man. We're gonna get back. We're gonna get that back. We're gonna have that joy in the kingdom of heaven, man. And this is going into, man. I'm gonna let me play the video, man. But it just, it's, it's gonna it's gonna explain itself, man. The northern and southern kingdom will join be joined together again, man. The Narragansett families who wish to remain traditionally as their ancestors had been made sure there was the teaching. Go out there and learn all that you can from these people. But never forget who you are. Never forget you have your own language, your own religion, and your own way of acceptance. In Rhode Island, some citizens who did not own property had to wait until 1928 before they were granted voting rights. But three groups were still officially barred by state law from casting a ballot. Paupers, the mentally incompetent, and Indians. The only way the Narragansetts could participate in elections was by identifying themselves as African Americans. Charles Ernest Hazard confronted officials who enforced this practice. His brother, Joseph, one of the oldest members of the Narragansett Nation, recalls the moment. Indian couldn't vote, so he went up to the state house, and he says, uh, and he says, a child of the Indians not vote. And he says, you vote, nature. And he says, no. He says, no, I, I consider myself a Narragansett Indian. If I vote, I'm voting on the Negroes who vote. We're not an Indian. He said, I consider myself a Narragansett, not a black, so I don't have no change. He played. The Narragansett families who wished to remain traditionally as their ancestors had been made sure there was the teaching. Go out there and learn all that you can. We've been here declared the Empress, explaining that the original Native Americans were mostly of dark complexion. She said the light-skinned Indians of Hollywood fame were minority tribes in Northwest that were mixed with the blood of Chinese invaders. They made up less than a third of the total population of Indians on this land. White folks don't owe black people in America 40 acres and a mule. They need to get off our land or start paying us some rent and taxes, she said. These four brothers sitting here, we didn't all come from Africa. And there was a united, there was, there was a country before 1492. And our history goes way beyond 1492. So you can't start us at 1492. We were always here. We were always here. We were always here. We were always here. That was a small little clip, man. It's going into the northern and southern kingdoms will be united again, man. I just want to play that because our um, people all look pretty much dark skinned, man. There wasn't no light skinned people back then. That's what he was pretty much going into. How they mix with the Chinese, but that's this just on some for uh, another another lesson. But I want to get into how we're gonna return back to our land and how the blessing is come upon us because Esau's kingdom is coming to an end, and we at the end of Esau's kingdom, his reign, his wickedness, man. And like she was saying, <laughs> they we don't we're not old forty acres and a mule. <laughs> they owe us rent. <laughs> Bag of rent, and that was a spirit man. And she said that man. Let's get into it. This is uh, this is Genesis twenty seven, and I'm gonna start at thirty seven. Man, just getting the point, man. He says, and Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him thy lord. And let's talk about Jacob. And all his brothers have I given to him for servants. So in the kingdom of heaven, every nation on earth that's not an Israelite will serve the children of Israel. Man forever and with corn and wine have i sustained him and what shall i do uh, do now unto thee 
my son. And Esau said unto his father, has thou but one blessing? And that one blessing was given to the children of Israel, man. And this is what Esau, this is what Esau the so-called white man, wants to have back now. And there's no way he can get it back because it was already given to the children of Israel, man. He says, and Esau said unto his father, has thou but one blessing? My father, bless me, even me also, O oh, my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept, man. So Esau has wept for his blessing. And he already received it, man. Now it's the end of his, his reign, man. End of his wickedness, man. And now he's finna weep as he did in the ancient days, man. In the ancient, ancient time when, when, when Isaac was on earth, which Isaac was Yahweh Shai, if he could receive it. And the blessing he gave him was a short period of time to reign, man. And now that time is up and Jacob, it's time to rule the, the, the earth forever, man. This is the time of Jacob, man. You blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans may return back to your Lord and Savior, how about Shemi Shah, because this is the time that the Lord is finna bring his the enemy, our enemies down, man. We're finna get the kingdom of heaven, man. This is uh, Deuteronomy 33, and I was, I'm gonna start at verse 28. It says, Israel then shall dwell safely alone. See that? We're gonna dwell safely alone. We ain't gonna have Esau worrying about what we doing and just all these currents and shit you see, man. Not being able to be at peace. You know, I've seen several uh, videos of a guy was uh, fishing in his own neighborhood and he was just being harassed, man. This is the end of Esau's reign, man. He's going to be low. He's going to be the lowest nation in the kingdom of heaven, man. He will never get out of that low state as he put us in and, and broadcast us all over the world, man. So all these other nations hate us, man. They despise us just because of the color of our skin. But we finna get we finna get everything back that the Lord took from us, man, and more. Twenty eight again. It says, "Israel, then shall thou then shall then shall dwell in safety alone. The foundation of Jacob shall be upon a uh, upon a land of corn and wine. Also, his heavens shall drop down. Do happy art thou, O Israel? Happy man. We're gonna be happy, man." Who is like unto thee? So who is like unto us, man? The children of Israel, man. The servants of the Most High Power, man. Old people saved on Yahweh by Shem Shah, man. The only people that's going to be saved from this coming destruction is the elect of Israel, man. And that's why we preach this word for our people to repent so they can see what we see. And say, O people saved on Yahweh by Shem Shah, the shield of thy help. And who is who is the sword of of thy excellency, and thy enemy shall be found liars unto thee. See that? Our enemy is going to be found liars unto us, man. And saying we are uh, not, the, not the children of Israel, man. The Lord don't love us, and the Lord is not dealing with, with us, man. The Lord is not a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah. They're going to be found liars, man, because the Lord is coming back to destroy them, man. And thou shalt tread upon their high places, man. We are going to trade upon our enemy's high places, man. Let's get that in another translation. Uh, New Living Translation says, How blessed are you, are, uh, you are, Israel. See that? We're going to be blessed, man. How blessed you are, O Israel. Who else is like you? See that? That's why we're telling our people, who else is like us, man? As you see in the videos, man, who could dance? Man, back in the, in, the, in, the, in the 40s, in the 30s, man, the 20s, man, who could dance like that, man? <sighs> who is like you? A people saved by the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. He is your protecting shield and your triumphant sword. Your enemies will cringe before you and you will stomp on their backs. See, that's plain, man. And that's what's coming, man. We are saved by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. He is our triumphant sword, man. Man, that's just, just that alone just give you chills, man. Good news translation. It says, Israel, how happy are you? How happy you are. There is no one like you, a nation saved by Yahweh Bashem Yahushah. Yahweh Bashem Yahushah himself is your shield. See that no other nation has a shield, man. The Lord is our shield, man. No other nation have claims to that, man. No other nation can claim that the Lord is their shield, man. 
only the Israelites, man. Yahweh by Shem Yahushai himself is your shield and your sword. See that? Prophesying his word is our sword, man, cutting asunder our enemies, man. And that's what the Lord wants us to do, man. Just keep pushing this word out, man. It says to defend you and give you victory. The Lord is going to give us victory over our enemies, man. He's going to give us victory over our enemies, man. Your enemies will, will come begging for mercy. And we and you will trample them down, man. So they're going to beg for mercy and we're going to trample the Edomites down, man. These other nations as well, man. The Lord is with us, man, and no other nation. No other nation can claim that the Lord is with them. No other nation can pray to the Lord for protection. Only you children of Israel, man. And that's why the Lord gave it to, uh, to the men of the Lord, man, to push his word out, man. Because if you can't see it, it ain't meant for you to see, man. You're, you're slated for destruction. This is uh, Deuteronomy 1 and 8. It says, Behold, I have set the land before you. Go in and possess it. Possess the land. Which you have by Shem Yahushua swore unto your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give unto them and to their seed after them. See that? The land was given, it was sworn by you by Shem Yahushua to be given to this bloodline, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. So you blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, man, the kingdom of heaven, the land of the kingdom of heaven, you will inherit, man. You will dwell there safely forever. And this word is continually going out, trying to bring you in, man, before the destruction comes, man. The Lord is only dealing with us, man. We only, the black, you blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans can repent, man. The Lord loves us, man. And he's proving it every day, man, because his word is being manifest and we can see it clearly, man. The Bible is opened up, man. The vision of the Bible is opened up for us to see clear. This is uh, Hebrews 6, and I'm going to start at verse, uh, start at uh, 11. No, I'm going to start at verse, uh, well, I start at 11. It goes together. It says, uh, Hebrews 6 and 11, it says, and we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end, that ye be not slothful, but followers of them which through faith and patience inherit the promises, man. And that's the hopeful elect, man, through faith and patience, man. We wait on our Lord, man. We wait on our Lord, man, because the promise that he give to us is, is, is worth waiting for, man. The return of our Lord and Savior, how about Shem Yahushai, is worth waiting for, man. And this is what he's speaking to the hopeful elect, man. 13, it says, for when power made promise to Abraham because he could swear by no greater, he swore by himself. See that? When he, when he was promising Abraham that this was going to happen, he swore by himself, man. He couldn't swear on nothing else to be higher than him. So he swore by himself that these things were going to come to pass. Saying, surely blessing, I will bless thee and multiply and multiply. I will multiply thee. See that? It would be like the sand of the sea, man. And so after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise, man. See, uh, Abraham obtained the promise for us, man. It was given through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. He patiently endured, man. And that's what we're doing as a hopeful elect, man. We're patiently enduring, man. We're not going back into the world and worrying about what the what the world can give us. We're waiting on the Lord, man. We're waiting what the Lord has for us, man. And we see it clearly. It has a great. We have a great reward coming to us, man. Sixteen. It says, "For men verily swear by the greater, and an and an oath for confirmation is to them an end of all strife, man." See, we we waiting for the kingdom of heaven, man. All this, what we what we in now? This is going to be like a dream, man. It's going, to, it's going to be like a dream under us, man. It says, we're in power willing more abundantly to show unto thee heirs of promise. See that? We're heirs of this promise, man. It was given to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. And we're joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, man. See, these are, these are promises that was given to us, man. And we are, as, as the hopeful elect, we are joint heirs to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. It says, and unto heirs of promise, the immobility, Im 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 let's make sure I said it correct, Im 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 
Make sure I say it correctly. Immutability. In the middle, immutability. Let's get the definition of it, man. Quick, just quick. Immutability. Damn, I, can't, I still can't say it. Immutability. Damn, I can't even say it. Unchanging over time or unable to be changed. See that? This promise was, was given to us, man. And it can't be taken away. Let me get it again. Let me make sure I say Immutability. It. Immutability, man. Unchangeable, man. We are heirs to the promise. This is unchangeable, man. Of his counsel, confirm it by an oath, man. See, the Lord confirmed it by an oath, man. He made an oath to us, man, to give to us, man. He made an oath to our forefathers, uh, Abraham, and all the way down from Abraham, Isaac, to Jacob and his seed, man. It was given to us, man, and he, he didn't change, man. He, it can't be changed. So that's why we know for a fact no other nation can get the promises and the blessings of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. Because it can't be changed. It was only given to us, man. It was only given to us, man. Let me just get the point in verse uh, Genesis 18. That's one of the point in verse 15. It says, in the same day, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah made a covenant with Abraham. See that? He made a covenant with Abraham, man, saying unto thy seed have I given this land from the river of Egypt unto the great river, the river of Euphrates, man. Talking about the land of Israel, man, the kingdom of heaven, man. And we're gonna get, we're gonna get, we're gonna get this gonna it's gonna come full circle, man. But the Lord made the promises to us, man, that it would never be changed. And most people, man, most people think John 3, 6, John 3, 16, that's, that, that's the end of everything. No, man, they don't get, they don't got the correct understanding of John 3, 16, man. But this was given to us as an oath, man, and it cannot be changed. This is uh, Leviticus 26 and 42. It says, then will I remember my covenant with Jacob and also my covenant with Isaac and also my covenant with Abraham. Will I remember I will remember the land. See that? The Lord is going to remember the land, man. He's going to remember us, man, because he gave us the land. We just read that, man. The Lord has blessed us, man. And I know our people can't see it now, but they will soon see it. And it's going to take a lot of people by death, by pain for them to get it. But they're going to get it. <laughs> it's going to be, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be, it's going to be too late on this side, but they'll get it on the other side, man. But you that believe and have faith in how about Shemiah is going to get it now, man. This is Matthew 8. And I just want to get the point in 10 and 11. It says, when Yahweh Shai heard it, he marveled and said unto them that followed, verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. And I say unto you that many shall come from the east and west and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven, man. See that? So the land, we're going to, the Lord going to bring us back from all nations, man. Back to our land, man. This is Yahweh Shah speaking, man. Let's get another one. Uh, Yahweh Shah said it pretty much close to the same exact thing. This is Matthew 22. And um, get the point in verse 32. It says, I am the power of, I am the power of Abraham and the power of Isaac and the power of Jacob. The most high power is not the power of the dead. But of the living, man, the hopeful elect, man, that believe and have faith in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, man. Two thirds of our people are going to die on this side, man. But the Lord is with the elect. And when the multitude heard this, they were astonished at his doctrine, man. See, and it goes into another lesson, but I just want to get the point right here in verse 32. He says, I am the power of Abraham. I'm just telling you the bloodline of the promise, the covenant that was given, man. I am the power of Abraham, I am the power of Isaac, and I am the power of Jacob. Power is not the power of the dead, but the living, man. The ones that believe and have faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. You are, the, you are the ones that's going to receive the blessing, man. And he, he only loved you. As you can see, our people, man, I love them videos, man. I love them old videos, man. And you see, like, them, um, them dancing and shit. Like, that just, that just makes me happy, man. You know what I'm saying? Because... And so our people are beautiful people, man. And we, we went went through hell, man. Now we finna we finna went through hell. Now we finna get to heaven, man. We went to went through hell to get to heaven, man. 
And, uh, you know, Jake always got rap songs and shit. Come, come, started from the bottom, now we're here. Uh, you know, all these things coming from the bottom, man. And then, as you understand it, man, when you come from the bottom, you res you respect to have more uh, appreciation from coming from the bottom, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you can, you can look back on the things you did and be like, damn, I came through that, I came through that. And that's what the Lord wanted us to do, man, to repent and come through what we've been through. You know what I'm saying? To see what we fell off at to return unto him, man. And like I said, a hopeful elect have obtained that and received that, man. R R Romans 11 and 7, man. This is Malachi 1 and 2. It says, I have loved you, said Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, said Yahweh by Shem Yahushai? Yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau, and laid his mountains in his heritage waste for the dragon of the wilderness, man. So the Lord is telling you, he, he loved you, man. He didn't love the so-called white man, man. He laid him waste, man. He laid, he made him to be destroyed. He made him just to show his power in him, man. Just like he did Pharaoh, man. Is a, is the Egyptians gonna be saved? <laughs> I don't understand why somebody wants the Edomites to be saved, man. But we're gonna continue to push, man. The hopeful elect is gonna gonna keep continue to push, man. And because we fighting to get 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 home, man. We fighting to get home, man. We want want the Lord every day, man, to take his place down, man. Bring the judgment, man. Bring his place down, man, so we can get the hell out of here, man. This is uh, Psalms 105, and I'm start at 6. He says, Who ye, seed of Abraham, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen, man. The children of Jacob are the chosen people of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua. No other nation is the chosen, man. No other nation will be able to have salvation in the kingdom of heaven, man. Only the blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, man, will receive the kingdom of heaven. Every other nation will be our slaves in the kingdom and servants. 70 says, he is Yahweh by Shem our power. His judgments are in all the earth. He hath remembered his covenant forever. The word which he had, when he, which he commanded to a thousand generations, which covenant he made with Abraham and his oath unto Isaac and confirmed it and confirmed the same unto Jacob by a law. See that? And he swore by himself, man. He couldn't, he couldn't swear by anything higher because he is the ultimate power, man. The most high power, man. He confirmed it the same unto Jacob for a law and to Israel for a everlasting covenant, man. So the everlasting covenant is going to be to you blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, man. I can't say it enough, man, because we're getting to the end, man. For the Lord is going to close this place down, man. And the time of repentance is now, man. man. You can't put this back a day, man. Because what we're going to get is going to be way better than this damn kingdom, man. Verse 11, it says, Say it unto thee, will I give the land of Canaan the lot of your inheritance, man. And the land of Canaan is the land of Israel, man. That land will be beautified again, man, after the destruction. It will be beautified and we will be put back in our own land, man. And we will dwell there safely. This is Psalm 78. And uh, I just want to get point in 50. It says, he made a way to his, uh, he made a way to his anger he spared not their souls from death, but gave their life over to the pestilence. He smote all the firstborn of Egypt, the chief of their strength, in the tabernacle, tabernacles of Ham, but made his own people to go forth like sheep and guided them in the wilderness like a flock. And he led them on safely in the ancient world when, the, when he, the lord destroyed the e egyptian army he led the children of israel over safely man and that's what he's going to do to the hopeful elect man he's going to lead us into the kingdom of heaven safely man yeah we're going to go through a look you know a couple things man we're going to be tested and tried here no, no doubt about that but for the most part we're not going to be judged and, and judged by your how about shimmy al shah's two-thirds are they're going to have it a lot rougher than us like I said, not 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 saying that we're gonna have just a piece of cake for us, but we have a better chance to be be safe and uh, away from harm than two thirds of our people that didn't repent. 
and we have the Lord on our side, man. And the Lord said, in the time of famine, we're going to eat. And when the time of these pestilence and, and deaths and, and deaths are going on, thousands are going to fall by our side. And none, nothing is going to harm us. He will give angels charge over us. So we're going to be safe in that time, man. You know what I'm saying? But you will have martyrs that's going to, that are going to die for this word, man. And you how about Shemiah was shy, but the Lord is going to protect us all the way, man. He's going to lead us safely over into the kingdom of, the kingdom of heaven, man. To be beamed up in those chariots, man. 53 again. He says, He will lead them on, He will lead them on safely so that they fear not. See that? We're not going to fear in that time, man. We want the destruction to come, man. But the sea overwhelmed their enemies. See that? The sea overwhelmed our enemies, man. And He brought them to the border of His sanctuary, even to this mountain. And it's that mountain going to be them chariots being beamed up, man. You know what I'm saying? Because the mountain goes in that government, but we're going to be the, the government of, of the uh, the government of Israel, man. Let me read that again. It says, "And he brought them to the border of his sanctuary, even to this mountain, which his right hand had purchased, man. And the Lord Yahweh Shai purchased us by his blood, man." Psalm seventy-eight fifty-four in the uh, New Living Translation. It says, "He brought them." to the border of his holy land, to this land and of hills he had won for them. See that? The Lord is going to be with us in that time, man. We're going to be beamed up in those chariots, man. And we're going to be taken back to our land. Good news translation. He brought them to his holy land, to the mountains which he himself conquered. See that? The Lord has conquered it already, man. The Lord has devoured this place already, man. We just got to live it out in the physical. We got to live it out in the physical, man. That's it. Because the Lord has already done everything for us, man. We just got to continue to have our faith in him and believe that he can do whatever he said he was going to do, man. And that's, it. and that's protect us and guide us out of this place, man. 55, he cast out, out the heathen also before them. And divided them an inheritance. And that inheritance was the land of Canaan, man. We just read that. And that's what he's going to do. He's going to cast out the heathen out of our land, man. He cast out the heathen also before them and divided them an inheritance by the line and made the tribes of Israel to dwell in their tents, man. So the Lord is going to put us back in and we're going to dwell in our tents safely, man. We're not going to be in, 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 in harm's way anymore, man. Let's get Ezekiel. Ezekiel goes right into it, man. We're going to dwell in our tents safely, man. We're not going to have to worry about Esau doing anything else to us, man. We, got, we ain't got to worry about him putting us in slavery and, 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 and going into captivity anymore, man. That's going to be a thing of the past. This is Ezekiel 28, and I'm going to start at verse 25. It says, Thus said you how about Shem Yahushua power, when I shall have gathered the house of Israel from the people among whom they are scattered. See that? We're scattered all the four corners of the earth, man. And shall be sanctified in them in the sight of the heathen. See that? He's sanctifying us in the sight of the heathen, man. As we go out in the highways and byways, man, we're being sanctified right before them, man. Because the word is cleansing us, man. You know what I'm saying? The hopeful elect, the word is cleansing us daily, man. We're growing in the word. We're growing in the spirit. The Lord is starting to cleanse us, cleanse us right before our right before the heathen, man. It says, "Then shall they dwell in their land that I have given to my servant Jacob." See that? We're gonna get back to our land, man. We're gonna go back to the land of Israel, man, and dwell safely, man. It's gonna say that here. It says, "And there shall dwell safely, and they shall dwell safely therein." And shall build houses and plant vineyards. Yea, they shall dwell with confidence when I have executed judgment upon all those that despise them round about them. And they shall know that I am Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, their power. So the Lord is going to restore us, man. So the Lord is going to restore us, man. Put us back in our land, man. And we're going to dwell there safely, man. And no one is going to make us afraid, man. No one is going to harm us. We're going to be protected forever, man. And these other nations are never going to rise up against us ever again, man. This is, this is Jeremiah 23, and I'm going to start at verse 7. It says, 
Therefore, behold, the days come, said Yahweh by Shemiah Shah, that they shall no more say, Yahweh by Shemiah Shah liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. See that? They're not going to talk about the ancient, the ancient, um, the ancient, um, delivery, deliverance. They ain't going to talk about uh, the children of Israel got taken out of the land of Israel, I mean, the Egypt anymore. Verse 8, it says, But Yahweh by Shemiah shall live it, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the land of the north country. In the north country is America, man, Babylon the great. And from all the countries whether I had driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. See that? The Lord is, and we're going to talk about the ancient deliverance of Egypt. We're going to talk about the deliverance of Babylon and great, man. And the Lord says he's going to deliver us out of the, out of the land of, of, the, of the north, man. Let me read eight again, because that's heavy, man. He says, but the but Yahweh by Shemiah shall live. Let me read seven. Let me read both of them again. It says, therefore, behold, the days come, saith Yahweh by Shemiah shall, that they shall no more say, Yahweh by Shemiah shall live, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But Yahweh by Shemiah shall live, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the land of the north. And from all countries, whether I have driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land, man. We're going to dwell in our own land without anyone interrupting us, fucking with us, or doing nothing to us, man. And this is the word, man. The Lord is going to bring us back to our own land, man. This is um, Jeremiah 32. And I just want to start at 37 to get the point. Uh, let me start at verse 36. It says, And now, therefore, thus say Yahweh by Shem Shah, the power of Israel concerning this city, thereof ye say, It shall be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon by the sword, and by the famine, and by the pestilence. Behold, I will gather them out of all countries, whether I have driven them in my anger, and in my fury, and in my great wrath. And I will bring them again into this place. And I will cause them to dwell safely, man. So the Lord saying he's going to make us dwell safely, man. And he's talking about the kingdom of heaven, man. He's going to return and rescue the hopeful elect out of the hands of, uh, hands of our enemies, man. And they shall be my people and I will be their power. That's plain, man. That's plain. And I will give them one heart and one way that they may fear me forever for the, for the good of them and of their children after them. And I will make the everlasting covenant with them and I will not turn away from them to do them good, but I will put my fear in their hearts that they shall do and they shall not depart from me. Yea, I will rejoice over them to do them good and I will plant them in the in this land assuredly, assuredly with my whole heart and my and with my whole soul for for thus said Yahweh by Shem Shah, like as I have brought all their all this evil like it, as I brought all this great evil upon this people so will I bring upon them all the good that I have promised them see that the Lord has 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 been dealing with us only man <laughs> that's plain man he, all these things came on the children of Israel, man. You blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, man. The Lord did this to you. The, Edom, the Edomites didn't, man. He just used them to bring these 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 um, destructions upon us, man. But the Lord is going to return unto us, man, and give us everything that he took away, man. He's going to give us everything he took away from us, man. He's going to beautify his people once again. And this can't be changed, man. No other nation can get this. This promise that the Lord has promised for the children of Israel, man. No other nation. This is uh this is Ezekiel eleven and sixteen. It says, Therefore say, Thus say Yahweh by Shem Yahshah Powell, although I have cast them far off among the heathen, although I have scattered them among the countries, yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall where they shall come. And that's in his scriptures, man. He's been a little sanctuary to us, man. 
where we were scattered at, and this in Babylon the Great. But we're going to get, <laughs> let me keep going. It says, therefore, say, thus say Yahweh by Shem Yahweh power, I will even gather you from the people and assemble you out of the countries where ye have been scattered, and I will give you the land of Israel. See that? See, the Lord is going to give us the land of Israel, man, our inheritance, man. He's going to bless us to get back to our own land, man. He's going to give us our land back, man. We're going to get the kingdom of heaven, man. And they shall come hither, and they shall say, and it's like it. They shall come hither, and they shall take away all the detestable things thereof, and all the abominations thereof from thence. And that's that's the hope for the leg, man. We we repented from all the wickedness that we we've, we've done, man, and been through, man. And I will and I will give them one heart, and I will put in them a new spirit, where 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 with it's like it, where in you. And I will take the stony heart, it's like a stony heart out of their flesh, and I will give them an heart of flesh that they may walk in my statutes and keep my ordinances and do them, and they shall be my people, and I will be their power. But as for them whose heart walketh after the heart of their detestable things, two-thirds of our people, and their, and their abominations, I will recompense their way upon their own heads. Say if you how about Shem Yahushua, man. So the Lord telling you, if you repent and come back to him, you, you're going to be blessed to walk away from this place, man. But if you don't repent, you're going to walk away with the judgment of the Lord, man. So it's, it's, two, it's two roads to go on, man. You got one way. It's a straight, narrow path. Only one can go in at a time. And it's another way to destruction that everybody's rushing to, man. But I'm going to end it there, man. Lord willing was edifying. Shalom. Shalom.